Hey guys, it's Kodakshul back with another video for the Envision Power Board. Today we're going to be doing with the blocks, the widgets, changing the theme, the the appearance or the skin, uh, whatever you want to call it, to something that fits more of your style or something that you want to see uh, changed. So let's start off with the blocks here. Um, so on the left, uh, there's a little arrow that's kind of pointing to the right and if we click on manage blocks you know this pops out so a couple of things is it shows who's chatting most people just like to um, see who's in the chat box and we're just gonna go ahead and just drag that drop and we're gonna do the forums now it shows the forum statistics uh, popular now uh, topic feed post feed poll and whatnot so Let's just do with uh, popular, no, we're going to go with the uh, topic feed, and we'll move that to the top right, and, you know, with the birthdays, today's birthday, or some event that's going on, you get the picture. These widgets, add-ons, whatever you want to call it, will help you and other users to see what's going on, so instead of a user just clicking and clicking and clicking and see what's a new topic they'll see what's trending or who recently applied uh, or started a whole new topic and on the right you know we previously made these uh, topics and whatnot and other people will be able to see that as well and for the who's chatting so if we move to our chat here and so you do have a chat system that people can talk to each other and this will start popping up it'll show who's currently in the chat box and there you go there's me and it shows one new message so there's some cool things that we can do here um now let's go a little bit more depth so what if we want to change the theme? Well, we're going to have to go to the EnvisionPower.com site. And there's some free content. And there's some stuff that you have to pay for. Because people, you know, if I code something, I would like to get some commission off of it. Just because I created something, I took the time into it. So not everything is for free that's the downfall but there is free stuff so let's go ahead and go to our envision power here and so what you want to do is when you go to the envision power you will see uh, marketplace then it'll start showing up come on let's go let's go let's go let's go let's load up okay now, as you can see, there's um, s features uh, and plugins. We're going to mess around with the plugins here in a second. We're going to go to our themes. And this is basically your the, uh, the appearance. So if you don't want to pay for anything, that's completely fine. But you want to click on filter by and it'll come with free. And this will bring all the stuff that you can download for free. So pick a skin that you like. And let's just say this skin, the mind one. Let's just say you like this skin. Um, they do have a description here. And they do have like a little preview that's going on. And so... This is what it will look like once you install it. So let's just go ahead and show you how to install the theme, the skins, the parents, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so right here, download this file. And this is just the user agreement for the terms. Agree and download. And so this... So it shows a couple of them. Uh, I believe that this one is the most updated one because it actually has a version of it this one does not have a version so we're just going to go ahead and download that one and what we're going to need is the .xml file so in your mind folder 
there's the mind.xml it comes with the fonts if you want to customize anything and it comes with the logos so if you know how to Photoshop good for you it also comes with instructions and I'm going to show you how to do the instructions it's fairly simple it's not hard whatsoever but uh, there's more to it but I'm going to show you how to basically uh, install a skin just on the easy way uh, there's plugins that they come with so if you want to use their plugins uh, you're gonna have to follow the instructions very um, um, step by step but I'm gonna show you just how to install this skin so we'll go ahead and close out of that next thing what we want to do is go to our control panel our admin control panel that is and we're gonna have to sign in And we're going to go ahead and go to the leaf. That's this customization. And then we're going to click on themes. It's underneath the appearance. So theme or themes, excuse me. And on the right blue button, add theme. And you want easy mode, then upload theme. Then you're going to browse through the... Um, um, through the file here, so just bear with me while I uh, uh, get that open up here. I just have some stuff that I just don't want being public displayed. So I got the mind.xml. So as it says, mind.xml, which is right here. We go ahead and click next. officially installing it and what this XML does previously in the older versions of uh, Envision Powerboard you had to upload everything but they made it simple enough where um, it, it uh, pulls um, information from a third-party server where this uh, files officially uh, have such as the uh, the fonts the imagery and whatnot so now we're gonna go back to our main site and if we scroll down all the way to the bottom it should show a themes where we can change that so it doesn't show it on here and if it doesn't show it that's completely fine what we can do is make this the default for the front end so you're going to have to click on edit oh uh, that's that's a, a little bit of a drag uh, it shows like it's working Okay, I guess just not that then. So let's go back to our control panel and let's retry that again. Sorry about that. Maybe it didn't like it. Well, as well for my password. We might have to get the different XML file. Go back to our themes. Let's. You know what? Let's make this. Uh, this is one way to set that theme and to show and display on here is on the drop down menu. Set as member theme. And that will show up. Um, I will click. I would click on it, but I don't want to waste any time. So we're just going to pretend that this theme came on and say it's good, because that is the initial way how to install a skin. Uh, let me go ahead and delete that off my computer. But that's the official way how to ins install the the skin here. Um, we're not going to worry about that. We're going to go ahead and just skip over it. So you know how to upload the uh, the theme, the skin, the appearance, to change it. Then you go to the drop down menu, set as member theme, and if you also click on edit, we're going to go ahead and click on edit here, onto our default one, and it says default theme. Yes. So 
that, make sure it is green with a check mark and click save, and that will start showing up. So, obviously, on your end, don't download that mine.1.1. I thought that was the more updated one, but it's probably the other mind. But I'm not going to worry so much about that. But we're going to go ahead and delete that off of here because we don't need that anymore. Next thing, we are going to show you how to install some plugins. Uh, basically, it can be widgets like these uh, that will show on the front of the page uh, or something else. So let's go ahead and find something that is interesting. So under our uh, applications and plugins, we'll browse through what will be awesome and cool. So let's load up a little bit quicker here. Okay, and filter by free. So filter by, click, then click on free. So group color, uh, new, stop shouting. So we don't want that. Um, to each its own, you don't necessarily have to um, pick what I'm picking. Um, I'm just going to pick something that's convenient, but something that's also cool. Uh, they do have some plugins here that are very, very useful. Uh, some of it is not so useful. Let's go on to the second page. And plugins and add ons basically, you can read the description and the title of what it does for the functionality. And, okay, group indicator. We're going to go with that. So, group indicator is basically at the very bottom of the page. It will show the group, so it will show the administrator, then it will show like members and what other groups you have uh, added on. And to the group indicator, and we're going to download this file. And again, it does show the screenshots. So, we'll go ahead and download that. So fairly easy. Close out of that. Uh, you're going to get the XML. It's the same concept, but we're going to have to go through a different um, different way to get the plugin in. Uh, so you want to go to your, um, I believe it's systems. Yep, system. Then it'll say plugin. And click on plugin. And I'll say install new plugin. Same concept. You're just going to need the .xml. And you're going to click on install. So, a couple of things about this. After the plugin is installed, they it might be under the um, plugin where we'll, I'll show you here in a second, it's setting it up. I'll get to the point of what I'm talking about here in a sec. Okay, so it officially installed, and there's a couple of ways to edit your plugin, and it could be scattered throughout the administrator control panel. So if um, once you go to your plugins, then you go to the plugin that you just installed, uh, you can click on edit, and it shows what groups to display. So this is for this specific um, plugin. And to edit the plugin, it might not be where it says uh, edit. It might actually be in here. So you're going to have to scroll down. Um, we're going to say this other plugin, um, Apple. So wherever you got to have to find the Apple, it'll say it in here or it'll show it in the community. You're going to have to search for it because the, 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 uh, the developers, um, they like to poke things and p pin them where they want to pin them and that's where you're gonna have to start searching for it and usually there's like the instructions on how to get to it uh, and sometimes it might actually be in the widget blocks and it'll uh, pop up right here so what we're actually gonna have to do since it's a widget or not it might be under the widget system browsing 
forums. Okay, so it's not a widget, but this is where you want to add and add. Click on save for the group to display. So again, every plugin is different. I'm just showing you some examples. Let's refresh this again. Pretty sure it's under the... Nope. Huh. I guess not. Uh, so, in this predicament, if we don't know where it's at, we're going to go back here and... Which is under the active list, uh, sorted by was specified in the link search system, and so that means go back to our control panel group. And there is this search field up here, so if you can never find it, just make sure you get the same keywords. And But that's basically it. I don't want to go further digging into this as well, but that's how you install a plugin. Uh, there's many other plugins. So that's, that's basically it. Um, if you guys have any requests or anything, something specific, let me know drop a comment down below and I'll cover it into my next video but these are just the uh, so far the three basic videos that I just wanted to do so we can step in the right path for you so yeah um, go ahead give me a like thumbs up um, subscribe to my channel also join our discord and register with Nalak if you need any uh, assistance or anything like that uh, but preferably um, yeah, do all of that, what I just asked of you. And see you in the next video. Take care, guys.